Welcome back everyone, Brobent here. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Mod API correctly and download mods. Also make sure you subscribe and comment on this video for a chance to win a £25 Steam gift card. Check the description for more information. So the first thing you need to do is open up your browser and go to the link in the description, modapi.survivetheforest.net. Let's go there. Now this is where you will download Mod API. This is the new updated website. So you want to make sure we've got the base package installed here. Now what you can do is also cherry pick a few mods that you would like to install. I'm going to go with Ultimate Team Menu and the map and full inventory. Now right here you can check any of these that you want to download, but we're done. So let's go ahead and just click download. Now what that will do is we'll comp it will compile your mods with Mod API pre-installed for you. So let's download this. Let's drag this to our desktop right here and minimize the browser. Now what we need to do is extract our files using extract all. Let's browse to our desktop right here and click extract. Once that's extracted, we will now drag our files to the desktop here. We can close this and delete the original zip file. So right here you have mod API. I'm just going to rename this real quick to mod API. There we go. So let's go ahead and open mod API. Now open the EXE. If you get this, just untick this and click run so you don't get bothered with it every single time. Now right here, what you want to do is click continue. And if you get this problem right here, what you want to do is browse to where your game file is located. So this is where you installed the forest. So for me, I installed this on my E drive and that is the forest.exe. We're going to select it. Click OK, continue, and there you go, you successfully installed Mod API. So what I'm going to do is check the full inventory, check this, check this. Now say I don't want the map installed, I can just uncheck it, and you're done. So let's check this, and click start the game, and that will add all the mods to the game for you, and it will boot up the game. Now before you click start game, it is very important to make sure that the game isn't already running. Make sure you exit the game, completely exit it, then click start game and that will apply the mods correctly. So as you can see here, I've already got the launcher open. If I go ahead and click start game, it will give me a bit of an error right here. Error occurred while applying mods. So make sure that you exit out of the game and click start game and that will apply the mods correctly. So now you've got Mod API installed, but you didn't download all the mods that you wanted. How do you download more? Well, to do that, you want to go back to the original website right here and click Mods on the side. Now this will list every single mod that is publicly available to download. So I could download any of these. I'm going to go with No Sleep Cooldown. Let's click View and Download right here. Let's click the Download button. And that will once again download it to our Downloads folder. Let's drag it to our desktop. Close this, open Mod API, drag this to the side, go to Mods, go to the forest, and pop this in here. Now, all you need to do is reload the Mod API application, and you now have the No Sleep cooldown. You can just check it and click Start the game to apply that new mod. Now, for whatever reason, if you're having difficulties with Mod API and you need some help, the best place to go is the Mod API Hub Discord. I will have a link to that Discord in the description. Go ahead and join it. You can ask for assistance if you need it. You could even suggest mods to be developed. So definitely check out that if you're needing help with Mod API. So I've just loaded up the game here with our mods installed. I'm going to create a new game on normal and we will load in. Now I'm going to show you a few little things that you can do with Ultimate Cheat Menu and I'm going to demonstrate a few of the mods that have been installed. Now I'm going to make it very clear that it's super important that you only download mods from the websites listed below. Do not accept mods sent to you privately from people. This can be used for malicious intent, so make sure you're downloading them from the proper website linked below. Now we can press F1 here and just press God Mode. We're all done there. We can have all of these mods. You can scroll through it. Uh, we can cut all trees down using the sphere. So to do that, we'll press X and we can scroll to adjust the distance and boom, the trees will be cut. Perfect. Gotta be careful with this though. It can cause a lot of lag. So let's build a shelter and test out the no sleep mod. Let's pop this down right here, build it and let's try and sleep. 
And there you go, we can sleep again. It works perfectly. This applies to most mods. Some mods will be broken as the game has just been released. Some mods will be out of date. There you go, all done. So let's also go through, you can see in the environment here, you can increase the cave light. You can change the speed of time to be super fast. So you can see all the shadows going past here. If we reset this and set the time to night, we can increase the lightness of the night here so we can navigate a little bit easier. We can change the weather, do a bunch of stuff. It's a crazy, crazy menu here. We can even make it to snow in the normal forest biome, which is crazy. So say you've just had a bunch of fun with all your mods and you now want to get rid of them and go back to the vanilla experience. How do you do that? Well, the first thing you need to do is navigate to your games library in Steam, right click on the forest, go to properties, local files and then click verify integrity of game files now what this will do is it will check your game and make sure everything is just complete vanilla if anything's been modified it will go ahead and re-download it so you can see right here we're going to be done it's like it'll say eight files have failed to validate and will be reacquired you saw the progress bar it flashed through really quick if you don't want to do this every single time there is a faster way to do it if you're changing with mods on and off all the time like i do you can just go to this url if i paste this in here steam basically this url will run a steam function which is validate and the forest id so it's basically a shortcut of doing what we just did it's a little bit more advanced but i've i used to bookmark this so i could just click the bookmark and it would validate it for me so if i go and hit hit enter right here there we go it will start to validate the game now if you want to get a little bit more advanced and you verify your game all the time I actually made this into a batch file to uh, to run this command and then made it an exe and bound it to my taskbar right here super advanced you probably don't need to do that it was just something that helped me out in my situation so yeah those are the two ways you can verify integrity of the game files which remove all of the mods. So there you go everyone, that has been my guide on how to use the mod API for 1.0 of the forest. If you have any questions or need support, make sure to join the Discord listed below. You can get a lot of help there from the developers. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and I will see you in the next video.